Alright. <clears throat> Doing pretty good, Rafiki. How about yourself? Thanks, Stoic. Yo, Bloomerang. We get to see the stun drop super early today. Eh. Uh, out of those, probably dominoes. Ooh, we got bombs already, too. Nice. Papa John's just has gone down in quality. I don't know. If 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 I had to order pizza, it'd probably be neither. None of those three. But if I had to order from the big chains, it'd probably be Domino's. Thanks, Ralph. Yo, Storm Sonata, thanks for the 38 months. And Meridian with the 17. Heck yeah. Thanks so much. And we boot continuing to roll. Hope you are having a nice evening. <laughs> Dude, what am I doing? God. <laughs> might have been the weirdest attempted fight I've ever done for that. I don't know, Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut has, I don't know. I like legit, I haven't had any of them in a long, I probably had Papa John's most recently. No, maybe I had Domino's most recently, I don't remember. But I would go with None of them, 100% of the time. We usually get pizza from Marco's or Mellow Mushroom. Or we make our own. Marco's is... is really, really solid for, uh, for a chain. Uh, like a larger chain. They have a pizza oven? No, but <laughs> you don't need a pizza oven to make a pizza. Kelsey and I usually get a uh, thin crust meatball and green pepper from Marcos. I gotta go frozen pizza, I go freshetta all the way. Oh, I wasn't against the wall, that sucks.
Okay, we got a ton of money and a shield. Screaming Sicilian is pretty good too, but they're more expensive. I don't know. I also don't buy frozen pizzas anymore, really. I think it's player mode. Um, if I if I am like in the mood for a frozen pizza, I usually just buy whatever is on sale at the grocery store because they're not like quality isn't that different enough for me to pay more for one over the other. Tombstone, baby. <laughs> Good old tombstone pizza. Ooh, Lido pizza. I haven't I haven't even heard the name Lido pizza in probably like five years. We used to do Lido pizza for like if we ever had like work uh like I don't know. <laughs> Pizza days, I guess. I would usually buy Lido pizza for, for my employees. Not, uh, not usually. I had, I, I did buy Lido pizza a handful of times. Yeah, Captain well, Crunch thinks the four twenty. Just Andy, Andy, yeah. Just blaze. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, stay safe, dude. Bombos is good. I also uh, am a sucker for a really good buffalo chicken pizza. I think this place in Boston has had the best buffalo chicken pizza I've ever had. Um, can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I can look it up. Oh. Trying to think. Ooh, we got a bow. That's nice. Yeah, the stairs in the front of Blind's house, uh, like in the doorway there, are uh, manual stairs. Not a huge fan of blue cheese. I usually put ranch on the buffalo chicken pizza. Crystal pendant crystal, okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. I don't think I've ever even heard of Papa Gino's. Oh, man. It might have been like Regina Pizza or something like that. There's like multiple locations in Boston, but the only one that has good pizza still is the original location. Something like that. Maybe. Dude, please. Thank you. Sea 
CCs. No, no, no. CCs was like a place to go in high school because it was super cheap and you had no money. But you didn't go to CCs for the pizza. You went to CCs for the amount of food. I'm sorry, Skipper. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not having pizza for dinner tonight. <laughs> having, we're having some spaghetti and meatballs. Lately, when we've been having pizza, we, uh, Costco has, like, these two packs of zucchini crust pizza, or zucchini crusts, and we'll just, like, make our own pizzas and throw them in the oven. It's actually really, really good. Everything else in here is an item. All right, so we get the big key, vanilla, and then... Ah! Ah! Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Regina Pizza. I don't remember which one you're supposed to go to, though. In in Boston, Massachusetts. You'll have to do your own research on that one. Case. How's it going, dude? How's it going, Gaber? Ah. Need to put my tracker back on screen. Yeah, I've been to PAX East uh, a couple times now. Oh god. Deuce Rexy, thanks for the nine months of Prime, dude. Appreciate it a lot. Thank, thank you. I 
I didn't mean to go this way, but whatever. Ever seen Grandma's Boy? Uh, maybe? Yeah, dude, PAX badge is, like, <laughs> even if you live close, getting a PAX badge is really, really difficult. So, you know, it is what it is. I lived next to MAGFest for a long time, and I only ever went to one. Wow. For real, dude, you dumb Moldorn. Imagine me being Alex at the wedding. Maybe I don't remember what movie you're talking about. Ooh, I don't know. I've never been too much of a movie guy. Go to death. I should really do Zora stuff first. Eh, whatever. Saturday is dog day. I'm probably going to do a short earlier stream tomorrow, and then Kelsey and I are going to be gone until Sunday, pretty much. I don't know if I'm going to stream on Sunday or not. Probably not. Good old weekend off. Eh. Still haven't opened up my snack yet. Yep, we're getting the pup. Five months of crazy ladder watching. can think of a better way to spend my time. Andy Love. Yo, Sketchy, thanks for the five months, dude. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. It's like, ooh, boots. Wait. <laughs> uh, all right, I need two pendants and two crystals of info. Uh, pod thieves, swamp ice. Pod thieves. I'm 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 bad at clicking. Pog champ. Pog champ. Eh. Wall kicks. Thanks for the eight months. Uh, so in casual boots, you just start with the boots in your inventory, but they're still placed somewhere. So, that's where they were. Good luck, Candy Andy. Bless. That's all. So yeah, me picking those up doesn't actually do anything. 
Yo, uh, Nelson. Thanks for the six months. my little bag of sun chips once I kill Moldorn. <laughs> Alright, there's one more item in here also. We got the book. Okay, we don't need to bomb jump. That's pretty cool. You can also check uh, Ether Tablet before I leave Death Mountain and do Zora stuff. Got to remember to do that as well. I remembered. Ruffles all dressed as the, the real chip. Uh, the bags are more normal chip bags <laughs> compared to what they used to be. Well, that hook shot's in logic. The ruffles all dressed chips are legit. They don't sell them down here. Go kill Agnum. Hooray. Ah, kitchen chips aren't as good.
I could go to desert, but meh. Um, uh, let's use the bow. This will be better. I guess that works. <laughs> you uh <clears throat> you sacrifice your ability to chat in the twitch chat to help give me good luck Yo, Fervent Club, thanks for the sacrifices. How long? For 15 minutes. Dang, all the sacks rolling in. Heck yeah. We've got Dream Archer and Magus. Thank you, thank you. Anomi with the sacrifice. Thank you, thank you. Kragon with the sacrifice as well. My mods just never have to do any work, so this is. This gives them work to do. <laughs> Super low, what the hell? Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright, so I have full Dark World access now. In terms of, like, Village of Outcasts and stuff. Um. So I don't have to go to Pod immediately if I don't want to. Velwyn, thanks for the 25 month. -er. Appreciate you. Got a fire rod, that's good. So good luck, Xenius. Okay, so I can beat Skull Wood. So I'm less inclined. Oops. To just like go to um to pod, I suppose. Okay. Delaying pod could be a little risky if something important is in there, but that's okay. We really just don't want hammer or mitts to be in there. Merge giveaway enters you into the merge giveaway. Take like blue cane. Probably should just go in from the bottom here. What's <laughs> up, bro? Sauce? How's it going, dude? Okay. 
Renegade boss, thanks for the 50 mo 50 bits. Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Seems going alright. Killed Agnim, got hookshot on Lake Hylia Island. Got a fire rod on East Death Mountain. And here we are. Key. What's up, Robin? Ugh. <sighs> All right, crystal number three. 37-ish minutes, 38 minutes, won't be too bad. See you, player, Still no items. You can check Ped here. We're a hammer away from Pedestal. So, lots of stuff can be here. Doing pretty good, Renegade boss. Pretty good. That's one. Or I guess four. Six. Out of the corner, you dumb idiot. Thank you. Still no items. Yeah, 16 fighter sword hits. The first one was a spin, so I counted uh counted it for two. And then fire rod I'll do two, technically. Uh, there is Austin. I think there's a, a handful of people that have finished no-hit runs of this game. Usually done low percent as well, so they don't get anything they... Wow. Alright, well, um... Good luck. When's the next PO champion race? Yes, we're, uh, doing all the great. dungeons. <laughs> Aga wasn't hard required, as far as I know. Hammer could be in Agina, that's the or Desert. Both of those places are, are still available in the Light World for me. I just chose to do Agnum because I knew where Hookshot was, so I played the odds. Although, it, like now knowing Mitts are on pedestal, you know, <laughs> doing pedestal or doing Desert would have been better first, but yeah, it is what it is.
But yeah, Austin, if you look up Zelna, low percent, no damage, I think he's completed a couple attempts of that before. X-E-L-N-A. He's a gamer. Uh, you always need a sword. You need to cut the drape in the back. The worst part about that is until I find the hammer. Like, basically, my Dark World access hinges on just finding the hammer and not myths. Oh, hello. Yeah. I'm racing. Yeah. My mitts are on pedestal. That's really good. You know, um... Anything? No, I'm good. You can have a chip if you want. You can have as many chips as you want. Can I have salad? Yeah, you got one left. How was the stream? Well... Well... Top of the volcano. Yeah. So like you would jump from a pole to another pole and there's three little platforms to the star. Mm -hmm. Jump can got words. Got words, man. <laughs> Feel that don't play. No fewer than twenty five That'll that'll happen. <laughs> Smile. Uh, Jeefsta. Thanks for the two months of Prime. Appreciate it. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised, Chaos Wandering. Bombity's not bad, it just doesn't do much damage. Alright, at least uh, we didn't get owned by an item here. With no small keys and no... We got three items in the front, so it was very, very unlikely the item was going to be in the big chest here. But it could still happen. So I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> maybe I'll, uh, maybe Kelsey and I will do a 3D World playthrough. Since I've never really, I played some of that game and got really bored. 
that maybe playing co-op would be more fun. Is there a release date for the for the three D All Stars? September eighteenth. Nice. Is this where I go back to SM sixty four speedrunning? A 3D World isn't coming until Feb 2021. Sure, why not? Dude, Tony Hawk also coming out soon. It's pretty, pretty hype. Yo, Cerberus 144. Thanks for the brand new tier one sub. Appreciate it a lot. Thank, thank you. Welcome to the Pug Farm. Hope you enjoy those emotes. Thanks for the support. My guess is Galaxy 2 will be coming at a later time as well. Go beat pond. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Donnelly. He also confirms required all dungeons. Or forced all dungeons. Yep, we're double double AD AD today. Dungeons requires three pendants, seven crystals, Aga 1 and Aga 2.
Okay. <laughs> nice effort. It's flu required uh, for Meyer. The only actual 100% use from flute is to get to Meyer. It can also be needed to get to desert, but Meyer is the only guarantee. There has to be four small keys in the front, so I know that that vanilla big key chest is a small key. Um, this is this might be a small key. the flute so I can go to desert more quickly but I already opened that Ouch. some 64 is bad anyway Definitely an opinion. And you're also talking about Super Mario Sunshine, which is also a bad video game. Every Mario is bad. I also couldn't get through Galaxy 1. And I never really played two. Very slow paced. But I'll play through it on stream on the Switch. Yeah, 3D World bored me to death. I got through like three worlds and just couldn't play anymore. Uh, casual boots is the mode for the ladder race, and the ladder is just a ranked competitive racing system. Similar to queuing ranked in some online multiplayer game.
Dude, there's so, <coughs> there's so many commands I don't even know about or remember them getting made. <laughs> Ooh, what's up, I'm Andy? I'm also not in the least bit surprised that's how you found me. Uh, no, I need the flute. Bash robe. And yeah, medallions are a, p a potential thing as well. Flute gets me to mire. One more item in here. And it's there. I don't know if this is faster or not, honestly. Mirroring here instead of leaving normally. Uh, it's all run under the NMG rule set. There are no glitch seeds in the ladder. I gotta do it again after this. Why did I dash there? Okay, well, we can beat Swamp. Um, I can beat Ice. I can maybe beat Turtle Rock. So, like, literally the only thing we might be looking for is Flutes be anywhere but my area which kind of sucks i like candy because it has the word <clears throat> candy in it andy wendy ah andy wendy ah uh amphibious t-rex thanks for the 25 months of prime appreciate it okay we use two fire out shots there instead of three because i don't have a tempered sword so the spin attack doesn't actually help. Ah, that sucks. We wanted all we wanted to, all six fire rod shots for this fight. I did it! <sighs> we do have Bombos, so I can do the cold stare fight with Bombos and Fire Rod. Um Swamp I'd like a better sword for. I should probably just go to Turtle Rock first. Do Dark World Death Mountain, and then I can beat Turtle Rock, which is fine. Um, if I have the medallion for it, or it'll tell me that I also need at least one more medallion. It's also still don't have a bot. I also really don't want to do like <laughs> ideally I do powder with a uh, smith chain and ideally like there's never really a good time to do mushroom if you don't have the flute. It's just like do you want to spend like a minute doing this one check? 
Why did I dash this way? There's like an actual way to do this in the speedrun. <laughs> and I never do it that way. Oh. <sighs> we did it! We got the Titans bits! <laughs> got Spike Cave. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is truly unfortunate. So yeah, because I, I, I got hit there, so I wasn't in the spin, I wasn't like still you know, in spin speed, speed-wise, but I was still in the spin speed glitch state. So because of that, just touching a ledge at all instant instantly hops you down. So that's why I fell off so quickly there. Okay, we need ether. Uh, hook drop. <sighs> Are we going to find ether here? Uh, the Madrinus thing off to the side is a uh, cooler. It's an ice cooler though, and not like a like a, a fridge. So there's nothing in it. It's just there for show. Come on, give me ether. Okay, tempered's nice. And our first bottle. Mm. All right. So now I don't give a, a heck about doing swamp. Swamp, like, essentially Swamp and Ice Palace just got made faster. Alright, so Ether and Flute. Sick kid with ether would be a dick move. Uh, sick kid with flute would probably be one of the worst things that could happen this seed so far. Because I'm already done with Thieves Town and Skull Woods. The only reason I had to go back to to that area at this point would be to do the Smith Chain or Sick Kid. So I'd really rather just not go back there at all. What's up, Kales? I don't know, like, could be worse. Like, this might end up turning into a... an ether hunt, but... that guaranteed can't be in Turtle Rock, so it's fine. The salad is gone. Smith Chain is kind of okay now. I mean, it would just... it would require me to go all the way back to Kakariko, and I don't want to do that. There's nothing else to do there.
How's the seed going? It's going. We're two items from go mode. We got a full swamp and ice palace to do. Could be worse. Like, this is going by pretty quick for an all dungeon seed. Yeah, an Ether Hunt is way better than a uh, Ether is way better than a nice rod hunt. Another bottle. Yeah, we've been relatively efficient this seed at the very least. Delaying uh, the desert play also is... Uh, in my favor. If I'd gone to Desert, it would have been with Fighter Sword and Bow, and that's it. So it would have been like NMG Landmo fight, probably pretty long compared to my like barely two round Landmo with Fire Rod. Doing pretty good things. How about yourself? Guaranteed item of some sort on left side. So let's do left side. I'm missing two things, but if I find something in the back of Swamp, I'm going to be way more inclined to skip this. Congrats, dude. Yeah, that side diver down is super slick. Another bottle. Also, two items being over here is pretty nice. Um, so we don't have the big key or the map yet, I believe. So I need to keep a little track just to see if there's anything in the big chest or not by the time I get to Argus. There's the map. So if I don't find a big key, big key's in the big chest. If I do find the big key, then there's an item there. Um, big key's not the worst thing in the world to backtrack to. It's relatively quick. It's just unfortunate. Why was Aga required? Uh, I needed to do it to get to the Dark World. Hammer was in the Dark World and Mitz were on pedestal. That was bad.
Honestly, it's not a bad thing in an all dungeons goal. Obviously, we didn't know it was an all dungeons goal when I did Aga, but all dungeons goal with two early Aga Tower small keys is super, super nice. Like, if I could have that for every all dungeons seed I ever do, I would be a okay with it. Nothing. All right. So we got Ice Palace next. something video game That was pretty lucky. Yeah, routing a full clear ice palace is relatively straightforward with icebreaker. Uh, it gets a little a little more interesting without. From here, you'd normally do this and then bomb jump hover. Uh, Icebreaker is relatively newer. Yeah, and then you go down. If you have hook shot, then you can just hook shot through the block. If you don't have a hook shot, you'll have to bomb jump back across and then go down. Um, but with the with the pegs up, it's never faster to like drop down and go around the long way. I think it was early early this year. Um, let's actually get that magic.
Didn't get the double spin. <sighs> okay. So, ah, uh, uh, no, not quite that long. It makes the route way more consistent, so there's less variance overall, but it's not that much faster. What's left? I have Mushroom, Powder, Smith Chain, and Pyramid Fairy. And uh, sick kid, which I'm about to do. <clears throat> this is just like this is the the way more. I guess it's not like faster; just makes way more sense. I'd be doing from here to Smith Chain to Purple Chest, and then just do. <sighs> okay, that changes things up a little bit. Even if, um... Okay, somebody called it. Um... <laughs> if you end up doing Swamp with Master Sword there, I guess it ends up working out, because you go check that on your way to get mitts, probably. But I can't, like, getting Hammer there and having Pedestal open, I can't imagine you going into Swamp Palace instead of Pod. Unless you don't know that mitts are on pedestal at that point, in which case it's whatever. But, who knows? Who knows? Avenger, give a sub to the skipper. Welcome, welcome. Uh, pretty much secretly a silver. A sliver? A sliver. <laughs> um, like... You know, I have to do Turtle Rock at some point anyways, even though it's going to be an extra Death Mountain Climb. I'd rather have one extra Death Mountain Climb that takes me like 45 seconds than checking a bunch of checks that's going to take me somewhere between like two and three minutes to do. Um, and like, if it's not, if, uh, if Flute's not in here, then we're just going to go right back to where we were before anyways. So it's not like we're really, like we lost one Death Mountain Climb a time in that, in that situation. So, just because this is something that has to get done no matter what. And this dungeon specifically is not that much different if you're, like, go-moding it, having all the items you need, or or full clearing it. Like, you still need a bunch of small keys and the big key, so it doesn't really get affected that much. <clears throat> Yeah, like, there's a the chance that you end up going into, like, downstairs Turtle Rock with all the small keys, so you don't need to check Laser Bridge. But if that doesn't, all oh, this sucks ass. But if that doesn't happen, you're really not skipping. Like, <laughs> at most, you're probably skipping, like, three chests. In, like, Mimic Cave, maybe. <sighs> uh, no, I still need the flute. We also might need Quake as well. Like, there's no way to know until I get the flute whether I need Quake or not.
어. Okay, bad RNG. I guess decent RNG, with the goal being to leave the south door, actually. Which race modes have quick swap? Just cross keys and... Uh, and mystery for now, but next season in the ladder, all race modes are going to have quick swap on. I hammered the wrong one. I want a hook shot here. Quick swap is definitely interesting. It uh, it allows for some more unique strats due to the ability to not have the menu, like being able to use the cape in the cannonball room in Eastern to just dash up every time, no matter what, instead of either like gambling and hoping to dash as far as you can or just not dashing at all. There's a lot of little, little tiny time saves you can do with quick swap like that. But I'm generally just indifferent towards it. I'm not, like, upset that it's a thing, but I'm not, like... You know, I'm not overjoyed that it's a thing either. Okay. So we're going to do this in a mushroom, I think. And then we'll do the rest, of, and then we'll do Smith Chain. Uh, I don't remember what I'm doing here. Thank you. 
Perfect. Oh no, I'm in the dark world. Uh, that was a that was a bomb dupe. Uh, essentially, if you transition in some form once the timer, like right when the timer hits zero, uh, the bomb will respawn behind you. Um, so I used the mirror to transition at the zero so that I could have it respawn so I wouldn't have to walk the whole way. All right. Uh, this is the big, the big question mark. Do I have a setup for that? Uh, there is some sort of setup, but generally it's just good timing. You can use the bomb dupe to get around hammer or Aghanim being there, or like Aghanim being required um, to do that. Um, but yeah, generally, you know, it's pretty rare that you get to do it that way. So usually you'll just like um, either just dash with it the whole way to the pyramid around the hammer peg bridge. Wow. <sighs> Yeah, there is there is a bomb dupe method to do it like without agonim crossing the hammer bridge a little bit faster but the the time save is minimal all right we got to skip mushroom and smith chain and powder which is really really nice i think that can play in my favor with how this ended up playing out Okay, I don't know if we're beating the 143 all dungeons uh, baby keys I did earlier, surprisingly. <laughs> It'll be close. Depends on how quick GT and Meyer is. Yeah, honestly, like, at that point, it was probably about even. Let's see, I had one, two, three, four, five. Five checks compared to the three in Meyer area. So a little less than a 50% chance that Quake was just here. So. This C does not have quick swap on Mass Zombie. If quick swap is on, sometimes it just doesn't make sense to quick swap. Like, quick swapping is slower in some situations. It is not like a universal, faster thing.
Eh, we have powder. Uh, Sand card is like nice there, but not like super needed. Why did I go this way? What the hell am I doing? My brain. Big key. Yay! We did it! Yeah, I just accidentally forgot to go for real clip for literally no reason whatsoever. I think I'm starting to get the hunger. The hunger. I actually don't know if I set up the spooky properly, so we're just gonna... Oh, okay. We're just gonna do it, uh... The all dungeons way. What happened after Ether on Sick Kid? I did Turtle Rock for nothing, and then did Pyramid Fairy for Flute. And then Quake was on in checkerboard. Uh, we're doing spaghetti and meatballs tonight. They've been following for two years, Nate. <laughs> I also didn't understand anything that they were saying. I never looked at their chat history. I just, it's just weird. You've got a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> They're kid bro. My little brother hacked into my account, I promise. He got into my computer. It wasn't me that said those things. I swear to God, if I get a small key over here again... <laughs> I swear to God, this never pays off, but I'm doing it anyways.
I think it's like 0 for 6 in the last six times I've gotten a small key on right side. <laughs> like, like, it's actually unreal. <laughs> oh yeah, that was in the, the mystery tournament. That was really good. Uh, I need to put that up on YouTube. At least we got silvers, I guess. Yeah. Kill me! Yeah, exactly. The one time I don't do that, it, the big key will be over there and I'll just be pissed. <clears throat> At the very least, this should beat the 143 on the dot. You're into that. Oof. Also, me doing right side first could put me in a magic issue, but those silver arrows actually or at like a magic situation where I'm low and need to do alternate strats, but the silver arrows kind of save me from that low magic issue. What? How did that hit me? That shield is bigger than my face. Dinner's ready. Heck yeah. I will be done momentarily. How many chests is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten chests. Getty and meatballs are big comfort food. Ten counting torch, always count. sucks. I didn't know what to do with that position. I don't know what to do with this one either. This is pretty bad. Okay, there we go. They got really off sync there.
This actually isn't beating the 143, actually. We're losing to it by like 20, 30 seconds. Shot that first one a little early. Yeah, she you happened a couple weeks ago. All online. It actually went really well. It was still raised like two point three million dollars. Let's see the results. Triforce says I won. Let's see if it's right. I won. Wow. <laughs> What are the odds? Where's my opponent in their seed? Uh, on Trinex. Do I stream most days? Yes. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be a bit earlier stream than normal. I'm gonna try to get up in the morning and do, uh, the 10 a.m. cross keys. Um, and then I'm taking the weekend off after that. Uh, Kelsey and I are going to the lake. We're getting our puppy on Saturday. And then I'll probably not stream on Sunday. Big Lake chilling. So yeah, uh, if you want to see our new puppy, uh, follow me on Twitter. Exclamation mark Twitter. Is it a pug puppy? It's a golden doodle. Golden doody. <laughs> Alright, let's see. That puts me at a 16 and 5 this season, which is pretty hot. If I do say so myself. I started four and three. And we're twelve and two since. Not too bad.
Yeah, pretty decent record. I don't know, it's honestly pretty crazy. Like, looking at some of the records, like on the top of the Lifetime Leaderboard, Goomba is 67 and 19. <laughs> like, and even me, I'm 73 and 38. Like, that's a crazy number. Run Super Metroid also. Um, I do from time to time. I haven't done any runs in a long time, but uh, but uh, I have a I have a forty eight something in any percent, so it's not too bad. I'm decent. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. Any Fall Guy tournament soon? Uh, not that I know yet. Uh, Cross Keys final is going to be starting next week. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, where you can see the leaderboards? Uh, ALTTPRLadder.com. I'm going to be gone for the weekend, so I'll probably put YouTube videos up every day while I'm gone. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. We've had some fun streams this week. Hollow Knight is too good. Mania 2. I don't think I got invited for that one. We're gonna go, um, we're gonna go check out the homie Oats and Goats. Oats and Goat says, PB tonight or else. So go check him out. You can watch him over the weekend. Um, <laughs> and I'll uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early. Uh, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Time to go eat dinner. Bye.